Hi Techie guys, I am Nand Kishore Swami and in this particular tutorial we would be learning about list type of variables. So how to set the list type of variable values and how to retrieve the values from a list type variable. So let's get started. Go ahead and hit to the new button and click on the task editor. So we would be prompted to this window and go ahead and click under uh, variable manager, click on add so from the drop down select list and just have a variable name like my name list and it should contain at least one item so we're gonna have any anything just add it at least one item and hit save and let's have another variable that would be having a string value and that string would have n number of names and our objective is to retrieve the names one by one so let's have value type and a variable name names so name is like Nand Kisur Swami Rahul Kumar Gupta, Amit, Varma. So our objective is to split these names into one by one and retrieve these one by one. So let's go ahead and click on save button. And to have this split, the split option, basically this name having are the current values into a string type of variable so we need to split this string and store that splitted values into a, a list variable so let's find the string operation and from the activities look for split string operation and from the string operation look for split okay so what is our source variable source variable is names which contains all the name all together and our delimiter is one space it might be our delimiter is something that uh, special character with which we're going to use to split the entire string and store into a list so in the current scenario we have a space as a delimiter and there might be like dash or like a dollar sign or like hash sign if you are retrieving data from internet and you want to split it from with the help of a special character then it might be like hash so for now our delimiter is just a space so i have just hit a space and our assigning output variable is variable which is my name list so go ahead and click on save so now this all the name would be splitted and stored into a list now how to retrieve the values from our list so now look for loop loop option and we're gonna loop through each item into a list so just drag and drop the list and select our list variable from the drop down and hit save so now we have automatically created line number two and four and line number three is just a comment we can go ahead and just delete it so inside these two line line two and three we, we can retrieve the values one by one and let's have it a message box and display into the message box so go ahead and drag and drop your masses box in between these two lines and now we're going to show show the, this name into list items as a one item at a time so let's drag and drop in between these lines and let's also check what is the current value how the current values look like so this is under V name so line number one 
there is a string variable that contains a long data. Our objective is to split that data into a list and retrieve those items one by one. So in the line number two, we will display the entire string variable values. Then at the line number four, we will display these values one by one from the and retrieving from the list. So let's go ahead and save it and run. And this is the complete string. This is displaying from the line number two. Go ahead and hit OK. So now this is the first item of the list. Say OK. So second item of the list and so on. So these are all items from the list. So this is how we can set the value to a list variable and retrieve the value from the list variable one by one. So that's it in this particular tutorial. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial.